This is the two-man TTT event hosted by Camden Cycle Club at Oakdale. This is David Ward speaking to you and this view is from my bike. I'm partnered here with Dave Hunt. We thought it would be a good pairing. He's slightly more powerful in terms of FTP and I'm slightly lighter so it could be a good it could balance out nicely. A bit of confusion though off the off the out of the gates of who's going to be in front right there so off to a slightly bad start but we iron things out as we go along. We had pre-ridden this course once before together one week ago just to get an idea of the effort and how long it is and which pinch points we're going to have to deal with. We already have ridden this road before so we had an idea but it was good to just do it together. I did have uh, best bike split on my Garmin giving me uh, power numbers which I had inflated about 10% knowing that I could go harder on the front and follow those numbers and then when I'm behind I can uh, recoup a bit more. There's a lot of data on the screen here you can follow along with. Overall I think it worked out pretty well in terms of managing our efforts. A few times here you'll see when Dave comes past I actually have to put down more power to keep with him. I guess that's the whole just getting into his slipstream takes a while for the air to settle down. But overall I think it worked out well. I was going uh, Hard in the front, although looking back at this film, watching the numbers, I think I could have gone a bit harder. It's hard to know how to pace though with this. First time for me to do a two-man or any, any sort of time trial besides by myself. So it was hard to guess how to pace this out. So I think a lesson learned would be I can go a bit harder on the front. Because you do gain a lot from being in the back. We managed to average 41 point something kilometers per hour, which is about, it was pretty much dead on what Best Bikes would said we should do with that 10% increase. It's a pretty flat course, but there is one long drag on the way back, which you'll see. And uh, my heart rate hits into the 180s, and I know that's something that I can You have numbers to follow along there with, and also uh, you'll have uh, a view of either open road or you have a view of, of Dave Hunt from behind. So enjoy that and I'll come back with some more commentary as required later. We had agreed to go two minutes each on the front, two minute turns, but as you'll hear here, I realized I didn't have time on my time trial Garmin profile, so I had no way of measuring that. So from there, we just went from, well, I went from, from feel, and Dave obviously had, he had some time there, so he could base it on the two minute times, but we tend to average around, it looks like around two minutes each anyway, so it was uh, worked out well. It was pretty instinctive, I think.
this is a nice long straight here that uh, I haven't ridden on before until last week was the first time. This is not part of our normal course we've ridden before. It's a nice, fast, slightly downhill, which is good, but I was concerned uh, coming back. It's a long, slow drag up, and I guess in these sort of team events, you, you're fearful, at least for me anyway, scared I'm going to let my teammate down and have to uh, slow us both down due to my inability. So going down here, I was enjoying it, but I was back of mind thinking, we're going to have to come back up this, so hopefully I can uh, hang on today's wheel for that, for that return uh, trip. So here's this slight drag coming back that I was concerned about coming in and as you can see heart rate's at 180 right now so I knew that's manageable for a short period but I knew I couldn't stay there for very long so I was hoping that would be enough that I can get through this uh, without falling apart. I wanted to hold over 300 watts up here but obviously uh, it was struggling a bit, dipping below regularly.
another drag coming back. Uh, again, heart rate's getting high, but it managed to hold on to it last time, so I was confident we'd be fine here. And we've got a slight distraction now with a, a team in, in front of us. Of course, the, the, the concern is to try and chase them and, and pick up your pace, but I knew that's not a very smart tactic and not gonna, uh, not gonna uh, work well in the long run. So I uh, had to just try and do our best to try to ignore, at least for me, just try to ignore what's in front of us and just stick what we're doing, stick with the pace we're doing, the turns we're doing, the power numbers I'm, I'm trying to hit. And I think, um, yeah, now for this, I, I was very happy the way I managed to not be distracted by any, any carrots in front. So we're now on what Dave Hunt thought was a very pivotal point of this course. This is the longest uphill drag you'll have in the whole in the whole course. It's sitting at two percent now. Uh, I think it's more like three, and it hits I think four, maybe five percent near the end of it. So nothing, nothing super steep, but it is long enough that if you mispace it, judge it badly, you could lose a lot of time either by not going hard enough or by going too hard. So uh, here I knew it was crucial for me to. To focus and try to hit a, a, a manageable power target. I was trying to hold, I think, for memory around 320. I think I was trying to sit at. Obviously, a bit low now on that point. Uh, but with heart rate at 181 too, that other number comes to my mind, and I think I've got to be careful not to go too high in the 180s. From my experience, that's uh, that's always been a bit of a disaster. So, just trying to manage this as best I can, and, and again, not be distracted by what's in front. Just stick with the the pacing plan we've got. About now, I knew we weren't that far from the from the end. Although probably still 200 meters or more, 250 perhaps 200 meters. So still a bit to go, but 
getting close enough I knew I could ho hold this, well at least I thought I could. Uh, Dave comes past now, um, but given all I've got, as you see the power shooting up to almost yeah, 400 watts there to stay on his wheel, and that almost did me in. Um, I was struggling to hold on right now, heart rate's getting high, and we, a bit of a gap is created here shortly. But I managed to uh, hold on and, and stay with him over the to the end of it, to the end of the uh, rise. Okay, I guess my memory is uh, incorrect. I thought there was a, a gap mate created there. I know right now, I thought it was my turn to come around and I just, I, I knew this, I couldn't be any use if I did. So uh, Dave looks around looking for me, but I'm right there, but yeah, I knew. And I couldn't even talk right at this point to say, you know, I'm spent, I'm, I'm over my limit. Uh, I wanted to come past, I tried to there for a second, but I knew I couldn't, couldn't do it, so. Uh, I think shortly I do though, but yeah, I think we timed it pretty well. Maybe we went a little bit too hard, just the fact we got a slow, or I got a slow right down here, but I think it was pretty well paced. This is the final run into the finish. A few hundred meters ahead is the, is the finish line. So it's just giving everything you've got. I thought I'd get back on in a second. Once we get over some rough patches here, I'll put, put the pedals down and, and, and catch up to Dave. But um, yeah, at this point I, I regret not, because the time's taken from the last person. So I regret not here yelling out to, to bring him back because there's no point of him riding by himself. It's not gonna help our time at all. So I should be more vocal. This is the one part that I really think I made a mistake on but I think overall I'm pretty happy with the overall um, effort for myself or performance for myself and us as a team I think work really well together. We ended up being the fastest time on the day I think by only about eight seconds so I guess we did a, a decent enough job and uh, thanks for watching.
go. Can we balance it? Yeah. I think so. It's my first time though, so, you know. Yeah. Your first one's always your best in your second one, right? Huh? Your first one's always your best in your second one. Yeah. We're about 0.2k an hour slower than best bikes we've ever been. Too hard. Up the hill. Yeah, the, the last of the drag. Yeah, you did when you first overtook me. I was about, you got me about three meters. I thought, no, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Yeah. If you want to slow you down, and I got it back halfway up. Yeah. So once we crested, I was there, but I couldn't get in front though. I was trying to say I can't, but I was telling me to talk. Hand <laughs> 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 signal. Huh? 